A welcome back time right now to take a look at your morning headlines. All the news you need before you head out the door. We now know the man killed in an industrial accident in Ottawa County over the weekend was a husband and father of three young children. It happened at the Hillshire Farm Plant in Zeeland Saturday morning. MY reports 49-year-old Ricardo Ramos somehow became trapped in a conveyor belt. That accident is still under investigation by the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department and Myosha. A Grand Rapids man is recovering after a bullet goes through a house during a drive-by shooting and hits him while well, he's lying in bed. It happened at a home in the 500 block of Adams Southeast early this morning. The victim was hit in the hip. It's not clear if the house was the intended target. Right now, no suspects. Well, starting today, AT&T will begin making repairs at the intersection of Kalamazoo Mall and Lovell. Traffic will have access in all directions, but one lane will be blocked at times. That repair work is expected to ramp up on Thursday. This morning, the Kremlin signaling that Russia has no intention to annex Ukraine's Donetsk and Luhansk province like it annexed Crimea. Pro-Russian insurgents say 90% of voters back their region's sovereignty during a vote Sunday. The Ukrainian government says this election, though, was a sham. A moment of silence was held at the University of Richmond graduation yesterday. They were honoring Director of Basketball Operations Natalie Lewis and Associate Head Coach Ginny Doyle. They, along with pilot Daniel T. Kirk, were killed Friday when a hot air balloon drifted into a power line and burst into flames. With more than 150 cracks patched and repaired in its white marble, the Washington Monument set to reopen this morning. It's the first time since a 2011 earthquake caused widespread damage. We got a lot of thunderstorms in West Michigan right now. I want to show you just a portion of them. This particular batch headed into Grand Rapids mere minutes. Let's call it about 15 or we'll round down to 15. Uh, concerns here this morning are many heavy rain, lightning, uh, hail up to about a half an inch. That is all on the table. I will tell you, I don't have any ground truth or observations of hail yet. So when they come in, you're going to know about them once CBS this morning gets underway. But again, storms west side of Grand Rapids right now, Byron Center and Granville, for instance. Let me show you uh, our severe threat today, again, coming in at about 15%. So busy weather day ahead of us. You know, the 80s are back. That's the silver line about today. Nice warm temperatures. Stormy again tomorrow, 74. That could be another severe opportunity for West Michigan. So we will keep our eyes on that. Then a cool down by Wednesday. But until then, get more great temperatures. Yeah.